Hey, welcome to Ranford Farms. My name is Brett and we're glad you're here. I am looking forward to showing you around today. On this farm we milk about 800 cows and we do it with this milking parlor right here called a carousel. So every day our cows get to go on a little ride and I'll show you, come with me. So our cows get to ride on a carousel every day, three times a day. So you see behind me, there's 28 cows on this carousel. They get on the carousel they get the milker put on them and then they go all the way around and when they're done they come off over here on the other side. They have a lot of fun as you can see they're chewing their cud which means they're comfortable and relaxed. They get to talk to each other and look at each other and visit with their friends so it's a lot of fun for them to get milked here on our farm. All right, we're in the calf barn right now. So this is an automated calf barn which is kind of cool. The calves um, sleep on a heated floor. We have a graded floor that stays really clean for them and it's heated so they stay warm in the winter and at night. There's over 100 calves in this barn. The cool thing that each one of these calves get to do is they get to drink milk whenever they want to. So we get milk from up at the milking cows and we bring it down here and we put it into a, a, a calf um, feeder and it heats up the milk to uh, the exact temperature that it should be and the calves can come and drink it whenever they want. They don't have to wait for someone to come and feed them. They just walk into a little um, machine and the machine will give them as much milk as they want. So these calves are very comfortable and they love to be down here. They have a lot of fun and they get to socialize with all their friends. They're in a big pen and they get to moo at each other and be with each other, which they really enjoy doing. So these calves are all heifer calves, meaning that they're gonna produce milk someday and so they are all the same age in each pen that they're in, so they will be uh, friends forever for the rest of their lives, and they get to be in the same pen, and we do that so that they're not um, intermixing with other calves in different pens, so it keeps them um, healthier, and they have less chance of getting sick. So one thing that's really cool about the calf feeder is it um, really eliminates a lot of work on our part, and it keeps the calves healthier um, because it's always, you're always able to feed them. So how this machine works, or how this robot works, is we dump the milk from the mamas into here, and it stores the milk for them until they're ready to drink it. And so when the milk, when the calves are ready to drink it, it walks up into a little um, compartment here, and there's a little tag in their ear that tells them how much milk they're allowed to drink and when they can drink it. And the calves then are get fed the exact amount of milk that they need. And this machine right here, actually mixes the milk and heats the milk and keeps, keeps the milk um, warm for the calves as they're drinking it. So this, this here is mixing as you just saw. And that means there's a calf somewhere in, in one of the, the, uh, the pens that is drinking milk. And so they're able to drink all that down and then when it needs more milk, more milk will come out of here and fill up this little cup so they can keep drinking more milk. Technology is a big part of today's world and on a dairy farm like ours technology is very important. How do you think technology is used on a dairy farm? Well on our farm we use technology in our anaerobic digester. Digestion is actually a very very old old process but the technology has been developed that we've been able to uh, use digestion in a more controlled way to be able to capture that methane and so our digester is the technology that we use here on our farm to capture that methane and to produce renewable energy. So we are at a digester. This behind me is called the digester and I'll explain to you how it works. It's really quite simple. Uh, inside and underneath this black tarp is manure and food waste. And that manure is always 100 degrees. And when manure is at 100 degrees with mixed with food waste, there's little bacteria that are allowed to grow and they, um, they're, they eat the manure and they produce methane. What's kind of cool about that is um, I'm going to step on top of this tarp and I'm going to be standing on the gas or the methane. And what we do then, uh, this tarp is always bubbled up like this because it's always producing uh, gas every day 24-7. And uh, we pump this gas that's floating on top of the manure and the food waste over to our, um, our generator or motor that, um, that runs it like it would run on gasoline except it's running on methane and, it, and it, that motor turns a generator that produces power and so it's always running 
all the time, every day. And it's a very uh, cool way to capture methane and use it for something good. So this digester is, um, has um, some poles that are sticking out of it. Um, underneath, uh, uh, connected to those poles are big giant propellers that are about this big around that uh, mix the manure and the food waste together and it keeps, uh, keeps things stirred up and keeps things moving. And when things are moving and stirring, it's still producing gas. And so uh, in theory, how this digester works is all the new manure that we scrape out of the back of the barn and all the food waste that we put in here goes to the bottom and all the, all the um, old manure and food waste floats to the top and um, it floats out the top of the digester while all the new stuff is pumped into the bottom of the digester. And so we're able to keep, uh, keep this thing moving all the time and the and manure and the food waste kind of separates itself after it's gone through its process of being eaten by the little bacteria that are producing methane. This is like kind of walking on a balloon if you can imagine what it would be like to walk on a, a big giant balloon. I'm gonna try it, I've never done it before, but so I'm gonna try to jump and hop like, a, like I'm on a balloon. jumping on methane. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, coming along today and I hope you enjoyed our little tour around our farm and all the different things that we do here and met all of our, our little animals as well as our big animals. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit about how technology is used on our farm as well as other farms here uh, in Pennsylvania. Follow along at American Dairy Association Northeast and tune in next week. <laughs>